Number 31, to, to prevent valves from falling into the combustion chamber. To prevent valves from falling into the combustion chamber. So what is the purpose of the safety circlet installed on some valve stems? To prevent the valves from falling into the combustion chamber. What is the purpose of the safety circlet installed on some valve stems? To prevent the valve from falling into the combustion chamber. Prevent the valve from falling into the combustion chamber. Number 32, during which both valves are off their seats. During which both valves are off their seats. During which both valves are off their seats. So valve overlap is defined as the number of degrees of crankshaft travel. During both valves are off their seat. Over, valve overlap is defined as the number of degrees of crankshaft travel during which both valves are off their seats. Number 33, a specified amount above zero. A specified amount above zero. A specified amount above zero. So the valve clearance of an engine using hydraulic lifters when the lifters are completely flat or empty should not exceed a specified amount above zero. A specified amount above zero. The valve clearance on an engine using hydraulic lifters when the lifters are completely flat or empty should not exceed a specified amount above zero. Number 34, compression stroke. Compression stroke compression stroke. So if the exhaust valve of a four-stroke cycle engine is closed and the intake valve is just closed, the piston is on the compression stroke. Compression stroke. If the exhaust valve of a four-stroke cycle engine is closed and the intake valve is just closed, the piston is on the compression stroke. The piston is on the compression stroke. Number 35, three. So how many of these factors is establishing the maximum compression ratio limitation of an aircraft engine? It's three of them. How many of these fact following factors in establishing the maximum compression ratio limitations of an aircraft engine? Three. The answer is three. Three. Number 36, both the piston and the small end of the connecting rod. Both the piston and the small end of the connecting rod. Both the piston and the small end of the connecting rod. So full floating piston pins are those which allow motion between the pin and both the piston and the small end of the connecting rod. Full floating piston pins are those which allow motion between the pin and both the piston and the small end of the connecting rod. Number 37, obtain the vest volumetric efficiency and lower cylinder operating temperatures. Obtain the best volumetric efficiency and lower cylinder operating temperatures. So the purpose, the primary purpose in setting proper valve timing and overlap is to obtain the best volumetric efficiency and lower cylinder operating temperatures. Obtain the best volumetric efficiency and lower cylinder operating temperatures. Number 38. The valves will open late and close early. The valves will open late and close early. The valves will open late and close early. So if the hot clearance is used to set the valves when the engine is cold, what will occur during the operation of the engine? The valves will open late and close early. The valves will open late and close early. Number 39. To eliminate the valve spring vibration or surging. To eliminate the valve spring vibration or surging. To eliminate the valve spring vibration or surging. So what is the purpose of installing two or more springs on each valve in the aircraft engine? 
to eliminate the valve spring or surging. What is the purpose of installing two or more springs on each valve in an aircraft engine? To eliminate valve spring vibration or surging. Number 40. Water mix degreaser residues may cause engine oil contamination in an overhauled engine. Water mix degreaser res residues may cause engine oil contamination in the overhauled engine. So during overhaul, the disassembled parts of an engine are usually degreased with some form of mineral spirits, solvents, rather than water mix degreasers, primarily rather than water mix degreasers primarily because water mix degreaser residues may cause oil contamination may cause oil contamination in the overhauled engine so during the overhaul and disassembling parts of an engine are usually degreased with some form of mineral spirit solvent rather than the water mix degreasers primarily because water mix degreasers residues may cause engine oil contamination in the overhauled engine water mix degreaser residues may cause engine oil contamination in the overhauled engine that's why you don't use that and you use mineral spirits all right take a quiz and i'll see you soon